Yeah, smart war games here. Let's play Ostalgi. I've noticed that I I'm owning a DLC for it, which I so far didn't showcase. I probably forgot it. But yeah, this one is focusing on three new nations. Uh, Czechoslovakia, Hungary and Albania. And yeah, as I mentioned, I like diversity on my channel. And I think the Czech and the Hungarians were already covered to some extent on my channel in other games. But one nation that was so far never covered here was is Albania. And yeah, it is also its leader is also the name of the game, so roll. Yeah, again, I'm not really proficient in the Kremlin games. Yeah. Um, in order to give you an idea, uh, Osagi is by Kremlin games. They make political decision games, uh, mostly text-based. Some of you played Crisis in the Kremlin from the DOS era. Yeah, I didn't, but I rechecked it. I have it. I have the classic on my channel. It was quite an interesting game. And also the first release of Kremlin games, basically a reimagining of it. And yeah, it was quite popular and very unique. There's not really that many games anymore around like that. And yeah, they then further released games focusing on Ostalgi, which was basically focusing on the VP states, yeah, including GDR and all others. There's one guy game focusing on communist China. And the recent game is focusing on a fictional post-Soviet state. Uh, I have them all on my channel. I have a Kremlin Games playlist. Uh, so check it out. Yeah, despite the name, I think the developers are in fact Ukrainians. But I'm not exactly sure on that. So yeah, um, I don't know, did I already mention it? Yeah, I'm not really proficient in those games, not even attempt to be a pro. I really like to play them also from an educational standpoint. As they might give you a nice idea of what happened there, of the political turmoil, uh, political decision making that happened there, those events are quite complex. I also don't know that much about Albania from that, I yeah, didn't grow up in that time frame. Uh, nevertheless, despite being not a proficient in the game, I usually play in original mode. Uh, that is basically those three check marks. Then achievements can be unlocked for those guys looking for even harder experience. You might activate Gorbachev's call. I think that makes the game even harder. There's also a sandbox op option, which I think makes the game easier. Uh, you might be not removed from power that fast. And yeah, there was another DLC. I think something with curtain, fall of the curtain or whatever. Uh, also very interesting, I uh, showcased it somewhat by the way, uh, focusing on Cuba, Afghanistan and North Korea. I was perhaps thinking to do a North Korean playthrough again. Yeah, so let's roll. Uh, again, <clears throat> I think that is a new feature, I mentioned it in the newest DLC, yeah, Downfall of Yugoslavia, which we played a couple of days ago. Really nice, uh, check it out. Those games are really cheap. And a really good way to, in an enjoyable fashion, learn about history and perhaps also decision making and realize how difficult it can be. Keep those states running. Yeah, but we will run everything historical, that is basically default setting, and let's roll. Yeah, this even at uh, those DLCs, yeah, even if you not plan to play those countries that those DLCs add. I think still they expand the main game, yeah? so even if you, for example, only want to play Poland or the GDR, they might still expand. And yeah, as usual, though, this DLC also comes with new 
cassette tapes, yeah, with new music from that period. I on all Kremlin games I get copyright hit. Uh, I mean this um, not copyright s struck, but it is allowed. But they basically get the money. But I think it is worth, yeah. So that is basically here for free. And if you want to see a proficient playthrough, I'm pretty sure there's some pros on YouTube doing that. I don't know, it's already late for me. Uh, how long I marked. This is meant for being a short showcase, not meant to be a playthrough. Good, yeah, first thing you always want to do is, of course, despite getting research, is to run your cassette tape. Uh, and there is indeed an Albanian one. Yeah, I don't know that much about Albania. I've, I guess I imagine that at the end of World War II uh, that the Wehrmacht or the Nazis left and then they fell into the Soviet sphere and probably became then a socialist focused state. I, from history lessons very very long ago in basic A-level school I remember I was just taking a drink that there are around 90, 91, 92, I think 92 dissolved at least abolished the uh, communist socialist regi regime re-established and seeked closure to the west to the EU one thing I remember is I think Albania was the first or the only state even that abolished religion is that correct? Yeah, if I'm wrong you can correct me in the comments but I think Albania somewhere abolished religion entirely. And not only from state affairs, but entirely, yeah. First official atheistic state. But before that they basically ruled quite what yeah, Moscow is or Stalin back in the days was envisioning at least. Yeah, that's of course that is more complex, yeah. I'm not an expert, as I mentioned, I don't know that much about Albania, so that's also a great way for me to learn more about it. Good. Next, we should, of course, get a goal for it. Yeah, This game allows you to have different goals for your countries. For example, you can try to keep running Albania in its socialist, I guess, yeah, socialist uh, condition. Try to not dissolve or change the political system but you could also say that you want to reform the country and quickly uh, gain mm, f yeah friendship cooperation with the west with the eu uh, for the yugoslavian um, showcase i was going for a yeah, liberal reformist playthrough, trying to get independence and aligning myself to the West. So let's try this time to stay with socialism, yeah. to run socialism as long as we can. And in this case, especially Vestalgia is your enemy and support of the people. Yeah, that's somewhat linked. Yeah, Vestalgia is basically a value that is. Um, somewhat making the people aware of the living standards of the West, yeah, of the enjoyments of the West, while perhaps forgetting about what socialism is offering them, and probably might lead to abolishment. Yeah. So we need to keep Vestalgia low. Uh, first we will check politics, but I might not do much. I can only be running reformism. Freedom is the total control. 
Uh, that sounds quite Soviet Union style. And yeah, planned system, that sounds also Soviet Union style. Developing socialism, yeah. That's basically the first stage towards communism. Good. Uh, mm, I won't do anything here. I mean, we can check out what politicians are available. Technocrats. Oxaist. Ah, okay, yeah, um, the, this leader already died, yeah. That is basically, this guy is following his line. I don't know that much about the former leader of Albania. I could imagine that he was yeah, quite on in line with what early uh, Soviet Union, yeah, before the, what they call it in English, we call it Tauwetter. I don't know what they call it in English when uh, Stalin died. Which led to some changes in especially foreign politics of the Soviet Union. Yeah, but in this game you need to watch out with too much change. But I might get try to get rid of reformism and try to maintain and see what parties we have. I think they, what I also remember, they operated for a long or for some time one party system. Let's see, that is a centrist, okay, right wings. But currently, nobody of them is allowed. So we're running a one party system. Yeah, that is fine for our goals. Yeah, here, one party. Yeah, we won't change that, yeah. And we have Tao Tao. Yeah, that is saying nothing to me. Sometimes I would write like that would be really great that those um, tooltips. I mean, great to have them. That those tooltips might explain some of those terms. I mean, sure you could go on Wikipedia. On the other hand, here this explain a strict follower of the party line. Yeah, sounds good by me. Anti-Soviet militarist and hardliner. But I think currently the party looks pretty in shape with my goals. Yeah, there might be a consideration to get rid of Kuko. I think it's only in civilian politics engaging that. But the other options are not. We have an anti-communist and we have a reformist. So currently it looks fine. Yeah, we're running one party. Party line is reforming, but I guess reforming out of necessity. So it's okay. Yeah, some reforms are needed. We're running a late planned market system. And freedom is in what direction decrease increase but total control sounds like little freedom oh, interesting good uh, no other parties are allowed speech is allowed elections might be heard uh, science exactly yeah we need to run science vestalgia is currently plus zero Support, yeah, let's before I conduct or before I decide on science, let's run the game for a couple of days. Yeah, some of those events will be the same, and you see, it seems like current Albanian um, line of affairs is quite close to be to me socialist or nothing else yeah don't give away anything that's also why we only have one option here good but currently you have zero vessel here that is nice Let's see what they have here yeah that is a thing we can sign uh, chemical weapons nobody wants to see them 
This is some controls on the keyboard now. You know what would be nice? That if you could have mouse scroll wheel, uh, scroll, scroll wheel controls for time. That would be nuts. Yeah, I didn't grow up in this in this uh, period, uh, in this late dissolution of those of of the socialist states in the nineties or late eight, yeah, early nineties, late night, mid nine, yeah, early nineties. But I think um, this game is probably among the best. Yeah, it captures really this immersion with music, art style. Just build like 9 million small concrete pillbox for me all over the country and you'll be good. Did, did the Albanians do that or what? Actually, what? Maybe along with the release it is necessary to ease the pressure on religion and Chekovics so that the people can feed themselves. Oh, that option sounds good. What? Jimmy, Vesalgia going, but Vesalgia is minus, okay. Proof from the US is reload, that is interesting, okay. Uh, from the Soviet Union. Yeah, calling Versailles is not really a problem. Yeah, we have a nice minus here. Support of the people is fine. Approval from the USSR. No. Sure what they want to do? They want to invade us or what? It's extremely low. Not sure why. Probably because we are in the face of yeah, post-Stalinism and considering the Soviet Union to be anti-communism. <laughs> yeah, that might that might be it. Yeah. I mean, at least according to this Wikipedia article, it seems like that those guys were quite hardcore and considered everything because in 89 of course it was already the post uh, Stalinist area era for Soviet Union so it might be believable that they considered even the Soviet Union not to be really Common, communists anymore, but anti com <coughs> anti communists, which of course they didn't like. But okay, no, that is not really of my concern. Yeah, currently research. Mm. I mean, we, n we need to prepare for living standards. This might become a thing very fast. I mean, having a tech that lowers the style gear, a community of party and agent networks might be not too bad. Why is it? Actually, we, have, we are basically nuts. We have no money. How much money do I need? 
in order to conduct research, I need one billion or whatever trillion. Um, but currently, we have very low money. Okay, uh, so money is a big problem here in our state. <laughs> Line of bankers. Is that what you mentioned? It is new. Jimmy, what is about if he demolished those bunkers? Yeah, that is costing money for nothing. Thousands of Hoxha era fortification remains all over Albania to say all uses. Tens of thousands, I'm sure. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm not educated on that. But this, what I see here, is in line with what you tell me that we have bunkers because it's the first time I see bunkers in this game and they're costing us money and costing us standard of living they cause Vestalgia but agents are happy about them and sovereignty, yeah. But sovereignty is that real thing right now. I um, might even demoli demolish them. Yeah, it seems like they probably invested a lot on those bunkers. That's also why we're running low on money. Is there any reason to keep those bunkers here? No. Yeah, Asian networks, okay, uh, but everything else is suffering from that. Demolish them. What? 50? Jimmy, what? Okay, uh, so let them... <laughs> yeah, but it is true. Uh, if you if that is true that they, that, uh, that they built thousands of those bunkers, demolishing them will take... will cost a ton. Yeah, 15, Jimmy, I don't have 15... whatever, yeah, 15 billion. I can't stop them. <laughs> are those bankers a real thing here? Oh god damn it. Eh? So I need first to collect 15 budget in order to get rid of those goddamn bankers. Why is that impossible? Simply stop running them. Okay, uh, that is interesting. Because they're re hurting our economy and our society. God damn it. <laughs> I can't stop them even. Leave them alone, but demol I can't demolish them, yeah, but it costs 15. Yeah, 15 is in a game like Osagi that is an absolute fortune. Yeah, those bunkers, Jimmy, I don't think we will get rid of them soon. It seems like um, the former leader here of Albania was re into bunkers. Good. Um, yeah, but nevertheless, everything is fine. Versailles is decreasing despite this decision, so let's run. Probably cost the country, country billions. Yeah, I, I, I witnessed it. You want a bunker, of course, you're a hoxer and you're absolutely terrified about the possibility of invasion. Yeah, will those bunkers really save you from an invasion? But, um, yeah, seems like the... I don't know that much about hoxer. But seems like he was indeed into bunkers, yeah. This game is depicting that. Removing those bunkers, or at least... Not sure why you can't simply leave them alone. I mean, can we bunkers place our country impact on living standards? Yeah, uh, but interesting. Huh? You learn every day something new.
Yeah. Money is money gain is very low. Which means I can't react to many events properly. Ah yeah, exactly. Yeah. One thing I forgot is to check out here my uh which one was it? Here. It's QC, yeah. So currently need for import. Maybe 3%. percent Nine. Okay. Partners. We have six trade partners. Poland, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria. Yeah, Zovit is currently running Brezhnev, okay. And we run Zovit type Patriotism. I need money, I need trade here. Uh, while the game is running, I might check some countries we can engage with anything, but doesn't look like. Yeah, I, I don't, I won't get myself too much invested into foreign affairs. Look for some money gain in order to get money because I'm operating so many bunkers. My half half of my economy is relying on bunkers. So I'm a North Korean, uh, like North Korean, but I think half the industry, no not half, but an uh, extreme portion of the industry, uh, of the economy is relying on the military apparatus. Set up abiding music. Guess so. Oh. Interesting, huh? Very unique. Jimmy, if I do that, I'm immediately removed. Wait. After the onset of text by Albanian terrorists. Yeah, uh, Jimmy, I don't know. That is something we can't do, yeah. It will only get us into trouble. And it seems like if they oppose the Czech invasion that strong, that might rather upset the party and the people. People love us. Even the Soviet Union is somewhat better after we declared that we are not supporting here Albanian terrorists in Yugoslavia. Great. Yeah, so far it looks good. 
just my money is absolutely low because I need to pay for the heating costs of 1 million bunkers it seems. Yes, really some interesting history in Albania, insight into the Soviet system. Yeah, I didn't know that there was this bunker thing going on, that I need to check that, that sounds... So there was really this fear of invasion and they... F and... Um, the previous leaders were thinking they can handle that by simply building a ton of bunkers. That wonders me, especially in after World War Two. But uh, yeah, it's of course always depends. Yeah, I don't. I mean, a bunker is of course a bunker. Yeah, might provide of course a challenge. But yeah, those static emplacements, I mean, it's obvious that in modern warfare, or what you consider modern warfare, if starting with World War II, those static defense measures rather grow obsolete. Yeah, stuff like forts, bunkers, I mean, they played a role, yeah. They are not useless, of course. As I mentioned, you need to overcome them. And it depends, of course, on the terrain. On the... There is no definitive answer. They are useless, they are good. Uh, it always depends, but... That is rather quite a unique... I guess what most nations would rather invest into their uh, standing army or something yeah, into them rather than into heavily that heavily into static emplacements but yeah i didn't know about that <laughs> jimmy i have those bunkers yeah um we have you have those usual osagi foreign uh, we will basically maintain uh, the moscow line which basically means that you either say something that is absolutely in line with uh, what they might think or you might say nothing yeah. as we are currently on a playthrough to, rem to maintain our socialism state yeah, because every of those decisions if you go a bit over the top yeah, you see, this option here is absolutely, it's not even possible, yeah, it would be absolutely nuts, yeah, impossible to pull that off. Okay, yeah, that is another reason. And if you have, yeah, exactly, good. But what I might also do is, because this playthrough, uh, this uh, DLC of course offers us uh, uh, other nations, we might play also music of other nations, like Czechoslovakia, despite being not on a playthrough on that. To give you simply an idea, yeah. but it is basically those very nice tunes. Do we can I de 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 develop nukes as Albania? <laughs> oh wait, oh, okay, it's forbidden. Do we why? I want nukes. Albania needs nukes, yeah. Everybody will hate you, but once you have a nuke, everybody will like you. Yeah? That is a typical... But we are not a dictatorship, yeah. But once you have a nuke, um, that's basically the idea behind it that everybody, uh, at least those superpowers, will stop screwing with you. Oh, Jimmy, what is it for a country? 
let the hat in Moscow hurt it. Yeah, Jimmy, I have nothing. Currently, I, I need to maintain my country. Am I a small country? We need to build nukes. Yeah, open borders. No, Jimmy, no. Not close, close the borders. Ah, yeah, I remember also from the history lessons, yeah, but that was after the downfall of the socialism regime or socialism government. There was a mass emigration out of Albania, uh, heading for the e EU or whatever. And they lost a lot of brain power. There was, or might be even to this very day, a big problem for Albania. There is a big problem for many countries. Yeah. It's the loss of good working force. That can be, of course, somewhat the downside of globalization and liberal whatever then that your country workforce especially capable workforce might leave the country you hear this this very day i talked to somebody from uh, i think croatia or another former yugoslavic country that a lot of doctors or whatever leave uh, for the EU, because they currently, or here in, here in my country as well, they have a doctor shortage. Which of course means that domestic, they are lacking those doctors. Yeah. They paid for their education, they pay, I mean, it costs usually money. Yeah. Doctor education, for example, is one of the most expensive ones. When it comes to university education. Uh, you pay for those guys and then they leave. Yeah? That is, of course, that can somewhat impact, of course, on our state, society. So there's indeed, yeah, I mean, it was the same as the GDR, and yeah? there was, of course, a lot of people leaving. That's why they went hardcore and put in the wall uh, with machine guns and whatever. Mines. Because people were leaving uh, for the West. <sighs> what? Yeah, okay. Ah, okay. Tiananmen. Uh, okay. Yeah, Jimmy, on that thing, uh, I didn't even have an option, I guess, because <laughs> my. We are so hardcore, we don't even respond to that. Yeah, Jimmy, money is really a big thing. I will never build anything here. Because my banker is costing me billions. Jimmy, nobody will ever invade Albania because of... I need to read on that. Did they, do they really have a ton of bankers there? Yeah? Didn't know that. But yeah, it seems like this. Because I think that's the first time I see line of bankers. As a as a compound in this game, and it's costing really much. Yeah, minus four, zero point five, and you can't get rid of them. Because not useless, unused, so ever. We can I finally run signs? I could, okay. Let's see what we want to run here. I might prepare for Vestalgi. I mean, currently Vestalgi is quite low, but usually Vestalgi is your biggest enemy. Yeah? The later it gets, the more people will urge for Western living standards. And that gives minus two. I mean, by rising the... Yeah, but I think that is really what I want. On the other hand... Perhaps we simply want to rise our living standards. And get money! Jimmy, give me that here. What is your problem? Why? Why? What? Uh, why is it showing like that? <laughs> we don't have any signs. 
the ah is that that could be yeah if you have another single science Re, uh, another single research institute. I never had this case, but could be that this here is the case. Might have another single research institute. But we have bunkers, yeah? Yeah, could be that this is preventing us from researching. So we need to save money for a research institute. By simply living our lives. Because currently we suffer indeed no problems. Living standard is even improving. Everybody's happy in our country. Uh, they, except for the Soviet Union, they don't like us. Because we're running here hardcore socialism. And the Soviet Union, you are absolutely anti communist. Yeah. Don't, we, uh, you are, don't be mad at me. Yeah, that is also, yeah. If that major power that broke you that idea, if you then call them. You guys have no idea, yeah. But I mean, what is uh, there's nothing that can happen with... They will not invade us as long as we stick to socialism. Helmut Kohl, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, social imperialism not accepted. <laughs> Rerunning running here. Albania is really a fun country. Yeah, I don't think I think, I think if we touch our borders. I don't what is the impact of closing borders? Yeah, I mean, I guess it would screw with the people and probably reduce nostalgia. I could imagine. Because people can't travel anymore and can't give you an I can't gain an idea of different living standards but people might become not really happy about being I don't know that is my prediction of closing borders well the right thing, conservatives. Is that Mike? What country is that? But yeah, but who is that? Cuba or what? Uh, seems like Cuba. Yeah, Jimmy Cuba. Whatever Cuba is doing, uh, that is absolutely none of my concern. Jimmy, I just want to get an alcohol facility. Do we have an alcohol facility? Not a single alcohol facility. Boy, that is hard. This also wonders me that alcohol facilities in this game give nostalgia. I was I would rather consider it the opposite. You can occasionally get yourself drunken that you might be rather happy. <laughs> but I don't know, yeah. There might be some deeper folk to that by the developers. I would rather think that undrunken people might rather 
look for Yeah, I mean, we could now we have a very really serious question. We could restore relations with the, UA, with the Soviet Union, but this will definitely probably get those hardcore hardliners angry. But I mean, can you really maintain that status? Of running a socialist state and giving a damn on everything else. But I mean, if you consider that our state is running pretty good, <laughs> people <laughs> absolutely have no problem. This could, of course, trigger that we also might soften up. I mean, there's people that think that the softening uh, of those ideas led to the downfall. Uh, that is, I mean, I personally, uh, yeah, I'm personally, I don't need to have an opinion on that. That I leave rather to some self-proclaimed experts or re-experts or whatever. But I mean, the idea is not out of out of proportion yeah that once you go soft you will go more and more and more and more soft yeah that is you will reform and then people will demand more and more I think uh, there's probably one country left that is a good example but it's really the only country probably left is North Korea right And at least for the moment it works for them, yeah. At least if you wanted to say it, it works for them. It works for the leader to stay in power. How good it works for the population is of course a different question. Yeah, different, uh, difficult question. If you want to re-establish relations with the USSR, which is already by this date somewhat more moderate on the uh, compared to this idea uh, which I told uh, after the death of Stalin they went very fast to a more moderate stance almost immediately yeah. as if they waited for that I mean, there's even to this very day people believing that uh, that this guy was put out of his life not by a heart attack. What was it? Nah, not heart attack, it was a brain hemorrhage. Yeah. I mean, you could run here hardcore state. <laughs> Two years. We don't care. USSR, you are anti communist. Do we want to do a hard... I mean, I never did something like this. I did some of those, yeah, we want to stay in socialism, but we need to adopt. I think I never did this, I don't care, hardcore. Uh, let's So let's do that. Jimmy, USSR, you can screw yourself. We will run here the hardcore socialist state. We will become the new leader of the socialist world. Look at this, uh, the party loves it, yeah. The party loves it. Party is opening the champagne bottle. I told you. The uh, gear uh, so minus zero point nine, but it's going up. Yeah, it's going up. We need to consider it. Money uh, that might become a problem, especially without a big partner. We could support the conservatives. A conservative, so in what mean? Conservative 
socialism or conservative conservative uh, central yeah i don't know what they mean i think they mean socialists that don't want reforms jimmy i have wait i need to pay money for that money is really important thing for me sorry no So there's no real socialist country in the world anymore, except for Albania. Great. Yo, yeah. living sands are rising, that is good. So currently, the country is working pretty fine, but the saga is already lowering somewhat, and this might increase drastically fast, uh, this. Especially with first social estates starting to crumble, yeah? that is basically, that was, if you take a look, uh, one state starts to crumble, other states or the population of other states might think why not yeah. why why they are leaving ah, i i understand yeah that is going very fast yeah it was i mean the 90s basically nuked all social states for the first it's really this domino effect you might think everything is running fine and then suddenly everybody wants to Wants changes, yeah. It's almost impossible to isolate those people, which is, of course, a, not a great thing, but you need to isolate them somewhat from those happenings, and they will question those happenings and wonder why, is, why people are leaving this great socialist world. What is there? <laughs> we only care for Albania and Okay, I hear that. What? Ah, so if you do nothing, there's an auto choice. I didn't know that, okay. Mm. Historical choice, probably. Yeah, which is fine, yeah. Jimmy might intervene. Albania intervenes into Ethiopia in conflict. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, every country plays quite different. And they really pay attention to the detail. Yeah. Something like having no money because you built a ton of bunkers. I need to check that. Is it? Why did they really were so afraid of invasion? Did they build 1000 bunkers? There's an article, Bankers in Albania, that already indicates that there's a lot of them. If you have a specific Wikipedia art article, Bankers in Albania. And look at this. There's an average of 5.7 bankers every square kilometer. 
I, that is so crazy. What? Yeah, it was built exactly in this period, yeah. Whoa. One hundred seventy-three thousand bunkers. Are you nuts, Jimmy? Eh? What the heck? Are you know what the mater that material, uh, the concrete or whatever they used for that? What the heck? Yeah, nice mention here in the chat. I wouldn't have figured it out myself. Yeah, that. That is nuts, 173,000 bunkers. I mean, Albania is also not the biggest country on the map here. Yeah? But 5.7 bunkers per square kilometer. That is. Is that a record? So, this small. One guy bunker, so what? And 1960, where basically armored warfare was already a thing. <laughs> I mean, if you want to defend your country, okay, yeah, but ha investing that heavily into bunkers, while many already at this time or even earlier perceived static. Defenses as being outdated. <laughs> Chewy, that amount is crazy, I can't imagine it. Bunkerization, Jimmy, that word is. I need to get that into my speech. Bunkerization. Uh, that is absolutely mind blowing. Albania envisioned a fight against a two-front war against Yugoslavia, NATO, or the Warsaw Pact. And those guys were preparing for every everything. Yeah? They were preparing for attack by everything. Up to 11 enemy airborne divisions. Right? They really had, had it planned out. They had a bunker for every single Jimmy that Mike land there. Yeah, but probably based on the resistance of what they learned from World War II, yeah. But that is crazy, yeah, that this bunker... Nuts. 170,000 bunkers. God damn. Yeah, nice catch, yeah, definitely. Uh, that's exactly why I play those games, why I love those games. Yeah, I learn really some crazy facts, which you might be not aware otherwise of. Yeah, there, there are so many, it's an actual meme in Albania to this day. I can imagine, yeah. I mean, again, yeah, Albania... It's really not the biggest country. And this amount of bunkers, uh, and especially per square kilometer, that is absolutely nuts. Yeah. You basically walk simply in the direction. Chances are good that you will stumble on a bunker. And that is something in a normal country never would happen to you. Like the Atlantic Wall, except it was Oxa's Atlantic Carpet. <laughs> That's a real legacy of Oxa, why the stream title caught my attention. Bunker Porn. <laughs> Jimmy, that is real Bunker Porn. And do you really believe that this is... I mean, again, yeah, we already talked about this. Of course, every emplacement has some effect, yeah, but... Uh, modern Warfare or post-World War II warfare, is, or even World War II warfare, I mean, yeah, there was also a ton of fortresses and whatever in operation in France, yeah, still 
you see how in six weeks then things can change. And yeah, that wonders me. Right? If that would be something that happened in World War One or something, I would say okay. But uh, for example, if something like forts and yeah, absolutely grow outdated after World War Two, bunkers not entirely, of course. And there was a West Wall and etc. Yeah, Atlantic Wall. But it depends, yeah, and in the end. If they really believe that those bunkers or this resource they invest in those bunkers. But perhaps they were considering that they have a rather low population and might get the most out of every single fighting capable individual. I don't know. If somebody knows the idea of how leadership back then came up with this bunkerization, I like the term, I never heard this term, I must say. Bunkerization. Jimmy, that is the next time if I play some war game by facing a lot of bunkers, I will say, Jimmy, what the heck is going on with bunkerization? But bunker porn is also good. Bunker porn. Yeah, I wonder if the removal of some of those uh, old guard party members might help with ease uh, the economic burden to remove those bunkers, but I guess not. But I guess that's why it is in place, yeah, why it is so costly to remove them, or why you're not allowed to reduce the cost of them, because there's a a lot of people believing exactly in that strategy in your party so it makes sense Jimmy, that is not a great leap forward that is a great bunkers forward i guess the strategy happened before the vietnam war because i would rather consider that with the experience that all countries witnessed in vietnam they would rather go for some extensive underground facilities yeah, like like it happened in Vietnam which really posed a big difficulty and even to this very day it might be viable to operate some sort of underground network allowing your defense fighters to ambush retreat in no time bunkers on the other hand yeah that's always but interesting yeah nice learning i do love the atmosphere of the game the map and the music yeah that is definitely yeah that is i mean i didn't grow up during socialist times i wasn't in a socialist country but i think there's um those Kremlin games, there's no other games that will re-immerse you into this socialist experience, audiovisually, like those games. They really manage it. Good, let's accelerate here. Ah, okay, space is also working. Something is going on here, what is it? Polish Republic. Jimmy, I need to build bunkers. Yeah, I have no time here for four and. <laughs> Jimmy, if I do that, I'm immediately removed from my from my party. Yeah, we don't have that much impact on foreign policy. Um, that is okay. If you play one of the, let's say, so they manage it, yeah? And this might, we need to watch out for Vestalia. Yeah? It is starting to happen. 
And you see the Salia is somewhat rising. No, now going lower. But rising again for some reason. Something happened again. Yeah, it starts, yeah. The domino effect. So it's starting to prepare or to leave the to abandon the socialist communist idea. And this will, of course, also make the population in your country thinking. Should we support the Marxists? Or oh, support of the people, plus one. Okay, well, it helped somewhat. Yeah, the Nata doctrine that might endanger our endeavor. Yeah, we have no impact on that. Or simply, we have no influence. Yeah, Versailles uh, is still minus, but you see those events triggering more and more Versailles. Yeah, we still manage it because we're keeping quite a firm grip on our population. But uh, despite that, those events might simply trigger that much public relations that you will have a hard time to maintain that. We send agents everywhere. Ah, that is in our country. What is that? Um, PLA is that uh, Workers' Party in Albania. Because um, I guess I consider it the only party that was allowed there was somewhat in that sense, Workers' Party. No, if he, if, yeah, according to my goals, you want to keep the system running. Yeah? If you make con concessions, it won't stop. Uh, this might cause some uproar and some economic burden. But if you allow another party, it's basically starting the downfall. downfall. Party loves it, people don't love it. Vesagia is still good, we can maintain it as long as problems those events will happen and happen all over. Now it's a GDR, yeah, the German East Germany. 
der DDR. Ja, sie sagt ja, ja, es ist starting to dissolve. So we can either support Kranz or grant shelter for Honecker. I mean support Kranz, uh, Kranz might not have really a strong position there. Grand Shadow for Honecker might be for the time the best. Yeah, Gregor Gysi, he later became part leader of the left in Germany and in uni unified Germany. Uh, the left. Yeah, and um, nowadays not really. They suffer other issues, but yeah, the left always struggle with the uh, SAD heritage. Jimmy, things going downhill. Socialism needs to be maintained. Good. We still can maintain the Salgia if we are not getting overwhelmed by events. The support of the people, on the other hand, looks not that good right now, but we have them still. Uh, the Soviet Union is thinking we are absolutely nuts with our bankers. That is okay. Is there any guy that can maintain... I don't want to change our party. Uh, Let's see. There was one guy I wanted to probably change. Ah, not a death for mist. Ah, currently there's nothing. I mean, you could of course grant more freedoms that might soothe the population, but might also lead to downfall. Same for alliance with. For example, uh, what do you want? But who will buy my Halloween customs for dogs? What? The intelligentsia and young people won't change, namely permission of private property. Jimmy, why private property? I'm providing you with all war games you need. Yeah. Socialist planned war games. Yeah, held back by the police. I mean, held back by the peacemakers. Are those guys just shooting at, at you because of peace, you know? So, okay, what? What the heck? What the fuck? Is that basically um, pushing on a military solution or what? Some of those options are really hard to read. Okay, what those guys really want? Let's see. They won't change, okay? Private property, okay? Prioritization of economy? No. Jimmy, we are running here bankers. You can, you can man a banker, yeah, or or woman a, bank, a banker, 
That is fine, yeah. But prioritization, no. Yeah, those options are really quite nebulous. That is guy. That somehow sounds like fight them down. Yeah, that is a bit over the top, perhaps. Especially not in line with what we envision. I don't want to expand the independence of an enterprise that might lead to a Vestalgia explosion. The word. The words make sense, we will give them the opportunity to forge the future, market future. What the heck is this supposed to mean? Jimmy, give me clear, what is this supposed to mean? <laughs> strike is a worker strike. Yeah, and what happens if, he, if they strike? Loss of money. Oh. Jimmy, get those BMPs out. Oh shit, that was a bit too much. Yeah, the army I have arrived. <laughs> okay, that was indeed the the, the the fight them down solution. That would be great if that would be more clear. Yeah, seems like the army arrived and cooled the protesters. That sounds good. Uh, co oh no, wait. The crowd completely went wild. Stones at the military, Molotov cocktails, suffered losses, army couldn't stand it, command sounded fire, oh no Jimmy, that is exactly how it goes high haywire. Tirana shooting. So the army opened fire with life. And body backed. Yeah. Exactly at this super important decision. Okay. People not really happy about getting shot. Yeah, I can understand it. Okay, yeah. But we might build alcohol factory and everybody will be happy, no? To which region here needs expansion? The capital has a lean statue, a square, and a couple of industry, okay. To those bankers here. I need support by the people, yeah. Too little money. Mean a present is only symbolic. Wait. Yeah, I mean, a symbolic change might not hurt us. These lovers, who <laughs> to Jimmy? What the heck is this supposed to mean? Yeah, I can't tell what which option is what. Yeah, 
Okay, the one of our secretary. We can allow a present post, which is rather symbolic. As a sign of goodwill. Is that this option here? But we will support the member of the PLA. Yeah, that is basically the party is going in charge. Yeah, people love it. Vestalia is fine. <laughs> what? Albania is definitely waiting for liberalization. What do you mean? I mean this. Oh, God, that. But people love us. Okay, yeah. People are currently fine. We're running out with politics. Jimmy, something happened here. Who is that guy? Hard to cross. Those guys are still the same, but something happened here. Leninism, your sounds good. So we are not reforming. We sticking to old school. Yeah, seems like it worked out. I don't know how I did that, but okay. People are happy. The saga is lowering. Living standards going up. We are happy. Every, everybody is happy, yeah, except for the Soviet Union, but who cares? Good. Let's run Albania, yeah, the leader state of socialism. Yeah, I don't want to integrate into Europe. I want to become the new, the new bright star of socialism in the world. And a leader. Jimmy Liberals West, nothing will happen here. Exactly, there are more pressing issue issues than this. For example, what next war game will release? Yeah, people love it. Exactly, yeah, people say, oh, who the guy, who, who the, who the, who the Jimmy cares? Yeah, we are running here, socialist living standards improving. Yeah, everybody's now getting a Pentium. What is it here? Well, 89, I don't know what the... There was a, a Pentium around. Everybody's getting a Commodore there. 89, yeah. Commodore there. C64. Uh, allowing some limited import... Uh, Jimmy, built in Albania. Yeah. Albanian C64 Commodore there, Playing some war games about how to correctly place your bunkers in a country. Yeah. How... How to correctly place 150k bunkers. In order to prevent the invasion of imperialists. More bunkers. Everybody built bunkers. <laughs> Make the whole world bank a bunker. Put the Albanian cement industry on the world stage. 200,000 bunkers by 99. 
Uh, you need to invest more into bunkers. Can I build more bunkers? Is that a possible way? Uh, unfortunately, what? Nuclear test site, okay. But Jimmy, nuclear test site, can I build more bunkers? I think we don't have enough bunkers, yeah? Uh, those West Western imperialists, they might claim we have weapons of mass destruction or what else and might invade us. Jimmy, I need more bunkers. Yeah, it seems like you can't build, unfortunately, more bunkers. Yeah, there might be a bunker sub DLC. I bunker though. <laughs> Wait, I need to start here. A lot of messages. <laughs> the dude had Soviet Union on one of the border scary. NATO on the other border, it messed with the set or something. Yeah, it could be. A bunker there. You need to invest more into bunkers. 200,000 bunkers. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying. Uh, this is really hard. I'm trying to unlock the 500k bunkers achievement. <laughs> Illegally just start building random bunkers around the world and placing random soldiers in them. Yeah, and that is of course also an idea, yeah, by exporting bunker socialism or bunkerism. Uh, There's a new political mindset. I might export that yeah, into other countries. Also by war by proxies, by simply flying bunkers into other countries. Yeah, normally you hear those volunteers or whatever. Jimmy Albania is simply flying bunkers into war zones and bunkering the heck out of those countries. Yeah, getting bunkered. Those young people need to build more bunkers. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they seem like they become here a bit cocky. Good. What you mean democratic? I don't know what that means. Wait, who is ruling? Socialists. Uh, that is enough for me. Help the ruling party. Monte Carlo. Should we Greek needs bunkers. Good. Yeah, so oh, support of the people is low again, but this might take some time to have an impact. Yeah, Bulgaria had also a coup. And it seems like the Communist Party there is suffering. And they're going for democratization.
Jimmy, äh, no. Ja, Sikov, Sivkov, welcome. Uh, no ambassadors for this atrocity, yeah? L. Banya. Should we India? No. Mother Teresa was Albanian. Okay. What? Pankulus? Yeah, okay. Is the dubious political ties of the nun, the inefficient use of funds received from donations, and the rejections, rejections of the use of painkillers during treatment? What? As she was treated for some illness and didn't want to use painkillers and was criticized for that, or what? Who cares? What she says friendly terms with Reagan. Oh, okay. But in the end, she is Albanian. Yeah, let's pull off a North Korean stance. And she is allowed to enter the country, but we will keep her under um, welcoming, accompanying, yeah? yeah. Welcoming, accompanying, just to make sure that she is safe, yeah. It is, in the end, Mother Teresa. I want to be. I mean, that is a very important person, and you, of course, need to care for her, yeah, by applying some surveillance. Nothing will change, intelligentsia. Nothing. We are running re one of the most progressive countries in the world. Leader of socialism. Jimmy, what is going on? Can I finally research something? I uh, still have two little bitcoins. Jimmy, I need money, goddammit. Those bankers costing me a ton. A ton of my PayPal account.
Jimmy coordination with Czechoslovakia. I'll pass to Slovenia. Wait, who is who is here safer? Yeah, Czechoslovakia. I think they yeah they already got attacked or invaded by the Soviet Union. Let's coordinate with them. Now uh, we don't have free agents. How much do I have? Ah, oh, damn it. Wait, minus. Will this rise again? Whatever. Romania is not my partner. Yeah, we're lacking agents. Yeah, Ch China for already long uh, separate from the Soviet Union. Can't remember what was the main cause. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. It was also the um, end of Stalinism. Yeah, Mao had some. Big arguments with Stalin, especially when it came to Korean War. Now, that was really a big thing for the Chinese. Yeah, they applied support to North Korea. Soviet Union agreed, I think, in the beginning, to support them because first they asked the Chinese to pull it off, and the Chinese already realized that they don't want to be puppets of the Soviet Union. And Mao then responded, sure, we will do that, but you will ask support military assistance. USSR said, yes, okay, we'll do that, but then pulled out. It was so hot for them, because it was some sort of a direct confrontation with, uh, with, with the West, with the UN. But China committed, yeah? and it was chi Chinese, yeah, what they all ever called it, yeah, uh, volunteers or whatever. Um, participating in the war, but in the end, it was basically a Western world UN NATO, uh, UN victory, yeah. and that was really some sort of traitor behavior here by China. But then, what really toppled over, I think, was the. But nevertheless, yeah, Mao was always, despite this incident. And further incidents, Mao was always a believer of Stalin. But with Stalin deaths, there was a quite dread, yeah, rather quick change, especially in foreign policy um, for the Soviet Union. Uh, we call it in Germany Tauwetterperiode. Uh, I don't know what they call it in English. Yeah, basically everything easy easing up. And I think that was for Mao a bit too much. And they break broke up with the Soviet Union. Meant different paths. That's also why they're shown here in white, I guess. Nowadays a bit different, yeah. Nowadays they already again maintain some sort of silent friendship. Yeah, that is a difficult question. Uh, that is true, I think I remember that from history lessons. Um, Albania back condemned the Soviet intervention into Czechoslovakia because, uh, yeah, exactly, uh, they had the feel that the Soviet Union might simply go into a country if they don't agree with them or whatever. Yeah. Despite being in a group of similar mindset, they somewhat feared for their independence. If you're simply a superpower, can go into your country if the superpower seems you 
to be problematic. But right now it is a different situation. Yeah, right now we have the problem that a lot of states want to leave the socialist uh, uh, sphere. Every state that leaves the socialist sphere is even more endangering the socialist idea uh, from the east, causing the domino effect to accelerate. Wait, what? Justify what operation? What happened back in the days, yeah? Oh, they're just trying to whitewash themselves. Who? Uh, the Soviets! Now, uh, let's not st take this hardcore stance. Let's go on now a bit more... That this Czechoslovakian... Because now we know that the Soviet Union won't invade us anymore. But uh, now the bigger problem is to maintain socialism. If you question basically those grandfathers of socialism that broke it to you by pointing fingers at them, this might even trigger the people to think, "What the fuck? Uh, or what the what the what the Jimmy are we believing into?" I think that is the correct. So Not the correct. That's not correct. Yeah, it depends on who play it. Or uh, but for my cause. Yeah, okay, that's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, it was not a nice action. It was ugly, yeah, it caused death. But it was basically back in the days deemed as some sort of maintaining, exactly, yeah. Sometimes uh, people sometimes um, criticize the English of these games. But that is some really good wording here uh, especially nowadays where everybody is checking every single word oh, but that is really good sentencing very intellig intelligent sentencing yeah? preservation in in of the integrity exactly yeah? almost academic here yeah? despite you can of course yeah, from our mindset we use right now in the game yeah? That we want to preserve the integrity of the VP of, the, of socialism in general. And actions not always reflect intent. <laughs> so the USSR was uh, interesting. So. Uh, did that happen historically that the USSR was basically pulling off a John Cena and its satellite states told no it was fine and then the USSR uh, was thinking Jimmy what the heck <laughs> yeah interesting yeah you see it it's very com a lot of topics or a lot of happenings are very complex what? Publisher reforms can be by Gregor Gysin. Gysi. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the Stasi and it was a quite feared institution in the DDR. No, yeah, that is a bit too much. Yeah, the Stasi regained a big, bad reputation for imprisoning people. Yeah, almost Gestapo-like, uh, like in World War II Nazis. I don't think I want to um, to give those guys asylum. But we might gain agents. I mean, we could not interfere, but... Getting foreign agents working for us, uh, this is of course not a moralistic thing to do. 
but usually it might provide you with viable information that is something that would be quite realistic. If you can get the service of those agents, it might provide you with the intel they gained and with the... yeah, let's write it. Yeah, we gained uh, some of those Stasi uh, agents. Uh, Stasi stands for Staatssicherheit. Again, yeah, it's not a more realistic thing to do, but quite a pragmatic thing to do. You might gain capable people that have information and the skills. And it seems like nobody cared for that, yeah. Exactly what I predicted. The uh, same, yeah, like in World War Two. Yeah, it's a uh, somewhat similar situation, like after World War Two, Nazi uh, scientists getting uh, continuing working for the new superpowers. Just because they worked for a regime or did bad things, that was not really a concern of for some of those and the uh, responsibilities of the superpowers. We were rather thinking of the human resource aspect. Yeah? Who is this new Jäger? Jimmy Panama. I Panama, Jimmy, that is. Oh. Yeah, that's of course. I don't know what this guy did. Crazy 40 years. God damn it. Imagine this. Uh, but I don't know. Panama, Jimmy, that is on the other side of the moon right now he retired from the US Navy and married a German girl yeah you need to you need a passport to go US EU I didn't know that but there's no visa needed it's automatic 90 days ah, okay starting next year there will be a visa requirement again I think Really? Between EU and US? For what reason? Once World War Three hits, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's really... I really enjoy those games, yeah. Especially assuming positions that perhaps are not your own. By simply... learning about those positions. I once say that a girl, she studied political science in Leipzig. I think it was Leipzig, yeah. It's a major town in Eastern Germany. Eastern Germany is rather considered to be <coughs> somewhat conservative. But what she told me, that university, or at least that subject she studied, was extremely... They didn't even allow for some perspectives to be explored. She, she said that it was absolutely nuts there. Which is rather... Which some might consider to be really ill fated for academic progression. Yeah. That was quite surprising for me. Good, what is the status quo? 
Everything is fine. Yeah, so let's run our country here. Yeah? Did I got removed? Oh, what the heck is going on with my money? Is it over? Money is really bad. Can't continue the game, that is not good. Is it over? Do we lose? Ah, okay, I need to conduct budget cuts. Oh, that will work not out good. Actually, those bankers are costing me my... Life. But we gain money, yeah? We have... I don't know... I, did I make a decision that costs me that much? Holy moly. Let's see, is there anything I can remove before I need to add this auto button? Because this might come with severe problems. Oh no, there's nothing we can really remove except for those bankers, but I don't have the money to stop them. <sighs> yeah. Okay, it's not too bad. Good, we, we are running. Yeah. People still support us. The saga is going minus. But as I mentioned, yeah, there will be so many events that you might not manage to keep your state running because everybody is now leaving. Party unity is currently on hold. Can conduct a speech. What want do we want to speak? If I speak again about order and stability, people might stop taking us serious. Uh, you, if you come with the same speech. What definitely works, at least for dictatorships, is always talking about some sort of external threat. Yeah, if you educate yourself on, I mean, you are not. A, uh, yeah, you could debate about that if you are a dictatorship here right now in Albania, running a one-party government. Yeah, is that really interesting for the people? Bureaucracy and dogmatism. Nah, that is rather ill-fated. Yeah, this is a typical speech that might help somewhat. But what is... Um, that is not really applying now for our case here, but... What is really interesting about dictatorships is... That almost every dictatorship, yeah... Of the recent history... Run some sort of... Threat. Try to... Rally and unite the people against some threat. Yeah. Let's say external threat is. Yeah. Alienating our values. Um, the Saiga is, I think, taking a heavy impact. Yeah, we are currently considered out. Authoritarian, no, that is not far from reality. But people are fine with that. Money gain, okay. Standards of living are not that much improving anymore. We might soon hit a stalemate, stalemate, yeah, male, um, static there. But the Saga is decreasing, that is good. Ah, uh, support of the people. Jimmy, did I waste it or what? Why is it minus... Ah, oh, damn it. So the speech was rather ill-fated. Nah, that is Vesalia, wait. 
Ah, uh, support of the pure is also minus one. Was it before and also minus? Yeah, I think we wasted it. Need quickly money and build something. We'll also consider to change a politician. Let's see what we have here. This guy is what? Strict follower of the party line, yeah, that's always good. Yeah, anti-Soviet is not really that bad. We are basically already screwed up with the Soviets. But this might not really help the cause. Nah, there's currently no options. Uh, that guy is anti-communist. There is an option here yeah, to get, exactly, yeah, we have a lot of agents. Uh, we could abandon one party, or one party government, and allow the left radicals, which seem to be happy with what is currently running, in order to get more support, yeah. But I think we are fine, yeah, it's currently not red alert, but that might be a joker, yeah, as I mentioned, to keep that we might run, uh, allow the left radicals. And yeah, I want to get a coordination with Czechoslovakia. And we did that. Uh, we're currently a bit low on money, but this will change any second. Uh, I was perhaps I should have waited. God damn it. Uh, okay, yeah, but we will fix that. That's a real problem. So, I also help to prevent those states to crumble too fast. Because every socialist state that is crumbling makes it harder for us. As people will simply lose. With every state that is abandoning, they will lose trust in the system. But it seems like Czechoslovakia is about to crumble as well. Okay, let's credit Dubček. Dubček, who is Dubček? Gustav Husak was currently the leader. He's now ready to hand it over to Kalfa, who wants to reform. Who is Dubček? Yeah, we already had this event that is somewhat strangely written. Because I don't know exactly who is Dubček. People connect with the opposition. Opposition of what? But. If we discredit dub check, we might pacify the situation, okay. Good, then do that. We decided to use the Stasi. Jimmy, what is the Stasi now working entirely for us? Or did they recall Stasi there? Repeated case of oh, okay, that is really some nasty stuff there. That was fabricated. Yeah, seems like this 
Um, smearing campaign worked out. And whoever Dubcheck is, I uh, can't tell really by the text. It seems like he was considered to be a problem, at least from hardline socialist perspective. And it is fine, yeah. Impact is minimal. But they will sooner or later recover from that. Okay, yeah. so he bought us some time. Nevertheless, seems like they. Ah, oh, we are still supporting them, okay. But, right. Government is currently not. There's still a military Russia pact, it seems. Economical, they are also in the sphere. Okay, yeah, whatever. Pro-American policy, Jimmy, American is not good. Albania is not allowing this politically influenced Netflix TV series anymore. Who was that? I guess one of those countries. Yeah, I think re socialist Albania held up to 92. But I'm not sure. Uh, check for yourself. Okay, support of the people is by zero. I mean, that is um, not good, of course, but at least he stopped the decline. That is good news. A sense of living is increasing. Versailles gear is decreasing. That is good. Nobody wants to challenge our bankers. Yeah? That is, of course, obvious yeah? with our hardcore banker system of Two million bankers per whatever. No T-72 or Abrams will ever... Yeah, we don't need tractors. Jimmy, our bankers will tow away those tanks. Oh, okay. The USSR is liberalization... Liberating. That might be quite an impact. If the nation that broke you the idea itself starts somewhat to abandon or reform it. No, 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 no. If they want to do that, sure. Yeah, party is happy, people don't care, great. And I need here, I want to listen some, I mean, I'm already can't monetize the video anyways. So let's listen to... Jimmy, GDR music, they also have some good tracks. I also like the Afghani tunes, but GDR first. Arbeiter, hörst du sie nicht? 
Es flüstern die Kohle- und Stahlproduzenten. Es flüstert die chemische Kriegsproduktion. Es flüstert von allen Kontinenten. Mobilmachung gegen die Sowjetunion. No, Jimmy, I don't want Western. I can't even impact on that. We don't have enough impact on the CMEA. Which I think was uh, what? Is. I'm not exactly sure. Is that Western or. What's the East. Something like that. Eastern Europe. Whatever. I don't have impact, period. Yeah, um, those states really struggle because they don't follow here the Albanian true course of socialism. While I can still afford any single research. The bunker is actually suffocating the economy worth every penny though. Yeah, actually those bunkers are absolutely worth the investment. Uh, you can't buy anything here. Can't even research nothing. Well, Jimmy, I, I realize I can't listen to the GDR music because it is German. Which is really impacting my reading and decision making. So instead we will listen to Cuban music. Because if somebody is vocally singing, I think it's sometimes hard to follow the game while somebody is vocally singing a language which you proficient. Gee, no revolution in Romania. What stopped those revolutions? Follow Albania. Abani is a new socialist leader. What? What? People are murdered. Yeah, that is happening. Okay, and Romania is a lot of going on. I mean, it's already went down, right? They already in revolution. There's no thing, nothing we can impact now. What do you, what they, yeah, sometimes it's really hard to understand what they mean. Okay, the armed liberal opposition is supported by the army. No, Jimmy. We will cover information what happened there. Yeah. Like Remedia in Germany. Well, but of course, there's a call on it. But the impact was not too bad. Watch me, what is going on?
doing now everything is going down here Do you avoid check? Keep socialists. Or liberal reforms. What <laughs> is? I like. We can only criticize. And watch this horror. A uh, horror, Jimmy. Uh, I was reading honor. <laughs> okay, then it's not really that fun. Yeah, uh, that is not really good. Yeah, watching horror or something that might not really make the people confident. Use of intelligence so as to stabilize the situation. Sounds good. Yes! The, okay, this is nice. Democratic socialism. Yeah, better than nothing. And left-wing social democracy. But at least it wasn't totally aboli abolished. Jimmy, our agents, yeah, I'm quite strong with this further Eastern Germany Stasi reinforcements. And those guys know how to run those black ops. Yeah, German reunification happened. Yeah, Germany is reunified. Uh, the GDR is lost. Should we give me Afghani music? Best music, yeah, uh, here every day. What should we? Oh, my money. Oh, Junge. Okay, that doesn't look good. Okay, yeah, unity of the party is really bad. Do you know my I like, pull off my. My Joker. Oh, not working. God damn it. Oh, it's part of the people. Is we are about to die. I don't want to die. People writing. No, Albania, socialist Albania, Jimmy, is, is working perfect. You're living like champs, look at this. Living stats 2.8. <laughs> God damn it. 2.8 is really a low number. G 
Junior, I need some guy that might soothe the population. Sorry, somebody shooting. Going on. Is it over? No, it is over. I was overthrown by the revolution. Yeah, people seek the rest, the ill fated capitalism. Jimmy, that, that went fast, yeah. A single decision can can then cripple you. What reforms should we I carry out no reforms? Reforms for those bankers, yeah. My reform was so equip those bankers with really big guns. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's a classic coup d'etat. Policemen were so suppressed. People are starting to get executed, trialed. Yeah, that's the usual coup d'etat stuff. So we were toppled. Uh, one of those last decisions absolutely nuked us. Okay. Speech. The map is great because it really does a good job reminding you that you are a very small country in a very big world. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, that was here um, the Yeah, the expansion for Osalgi, yeah, Albania, Hungary and Czechoslovakia. You can also play the other countries. <laughs> I don't know, I thought the bunkerization program was quite visionary. Uh, yeah, but sometimes you might pull off some visionary stuff and the people won't realize it. Uh, perhaps in 50 or 100 years they will say, Jimmy, that Bankerization system was absolutely nuts. It was absolutely super progressive. People simply didn't realize it. Didn't realize the the advantages of having millions, or tons of bankers put over all over your country. Yeah, it was really a fun game again. And 
yeah, check it out. It's on Steam. Yeah, all all the Kremlin games are on Steam. Really nice political decision game. And very unique games, yeah. Which are really fun. Nevertheless, the outcome. Yeah, you might learn about certain countries yeah, like that they were really into bunkers. Yeah? That is, for example, already enough for me. There was quite a information I was not aware of that certain countries were quite into bunkers. So nice gain and yeah. And also the price is very low on those games and also on those DLCs. Uh, most of them, uh, most of the Kremlin games cost basically a coffee, yeah. In the, at least in the Western world. And yeah, so check them out, support them. So I personally would like to see more of those games. And see you in the next episode. Good hunting and yeah, good.